Hello and welcome to your fourth Lego tutorial. And this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to change the font, the default font in Allegro, because the default font is small and boring. So if you want any other fonts that you like, I'm going to show you how to put it in. And you're in for a treat because no other thing on YouTube and there's hardly any tutorials on the internet how to do this so pay close attention so what you want to do is open your web browser let me zoom in here and remember the website we went to in the first um, tutorial you want to go to allegro.cc and you want to go to tools and go to fonts and click T T F two P C X and you want to click that and you want to download it. So you click that link and you download it. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to download it. There's another one you can download. If you copy this link, I'll put it in the description. And it's an Allegro font editor, so you can like edit fonts and stuff for Allegro, right? But I used to use um, the Allegro font editor, but I just found the TT um, F to PCX to be better. So, what I'm going to do is click TTF to PCX, and I'm going to, so yeah, I open the zip file, then I'm going to run the executable file, and we get this. So, Basically, what this does, you know, you know, Microsoft Word, all the fonts you got on Microsoft Word. Well, basically, those are .ttf files, but Allegro can't run those files. It needs to change it to a file that it can read, like a bitmap file or um, a PCX file or whatever. So, I think PCX files are better. So, we you just choose a file that you want. So, I'll choose whatever this font and you have to set the size you want it and the size you choose is going to be the size that it appears on in Allegro so if you choose size 24 that's how big it's going to show up in Allegro so if you just want regular character fonts or whatever then I choose this size 14 and you just put export and that's what you want to do so wherever you save your project right so my project is called Allegro Tut 1 or whatever right so I saved it in my C++ projects folder and I, as you notice I clicked Allegro Tut 1 that's my project folder right now as you see you'll see your project name debug and IPCH and you wanna double click Allegro Cut one, and then you'll see you'll see this folder right here. So what you basically want to do is just name your font. So I'm going to name it font one, and then so I exported that font and in, in my folder. So let me exit this program. So now let's go into the coding part. So let me comment that out. So to create a font in Allegro, you basically have to do this, capital F-O-N-T, star font, right, equals load underscore font, and you have to put the font's file name, so I named it font1.pcx, because I exported it to make it a pcx file. And then just make both these null. And then if I want, no, actually, let me make this font one. So put font one. And then let's run this. So control F5. And look at that. Hello world. I'm coding in Allegro. And you see the font is different than the default font. So you want to see the difference? So font. You just saw font 1, the one that we created. 
and this is the Allegro normally font, right? So we just changed the font and we made it whichever size we wanted to using that program. Now, say you don't want to use any of the default fonts you get with the computer, like you know, the fonts you get in Microsoft Word. So, what I did is that I went on the internet and you search the type of font you want. So, say I wanted the Allegro font. You just search up the font and then you just find a website where you can download a font. So, I'll click that and then I guess I'd click here. And then you, yeah, and then you click download and whichever, download whichever font you want. So, I'm not going to show you which site I download from. You can find them easily. So, I downloaded Allegro.ttf and BleedingCowboys.tdf. Now, if you want to convert them to PCX with the TTF to PCX thing, it has to be a part of your computer. So, in order to do that, you go to start and you go to control panel and I'm using Windows Vista so it might be a bit different for XP users but basically you want to find your fonts folder and your fonts folder contains all the all the fonts that came with your computer so all the fonts you see in Microsoft Word and whatnot right so all you want to do is drag and drop these TTF files into that folder right I've already done it so I don't need to do it again so once it's in your font folder right so I put bleeding cowboys in a light grown there so then when I open my TTF to PCX converter and I run the executable again let's go to bleeding cowboys uh, bleeding cowboys see because it's a part of the computer now. So then, now that I chose Bleeding Cowboys, then I can choose the size. So I'll put put 14 again, put export, and I'm named as font 2. And then it's a, it saves as a PCX file. And then let's go back to Allegro. And let's change, or let's make a new one. So you just get practice, getting used to it. So font star font two. Now you don't always have to do the equals on one line as you learn the basics. You can do that. And with a semicolon, then put font two equals load underscore font font two dot pcx and name both of these null again. And the reason why I did it this way this time is because it's always good to learn coding in different ways because if you know coding in different ways then it'll make it easier for you it's like it's like if you're if you know to drive one way to school for example and then that road is blocked how are you gonna how are you gonna get to school there's no way you're gonna have to find a different way to get to school so same with this if you get stuck in one way of programming and you only know one way to do it then you're screwed over but if you learn more than one way to do stuff then you can always like variate and choose which method is best for the situation so just a little example there so now that I made my new font I name it font 2 and I'll run this and as you see hello world I'm coding in Allegro with the bleeding cowboys font isn't that cool and a bonus to when you put it in your computer like when you download your own fonts when you go into Microsoft Word or something and I have it set to Bleeding Cowboys when you write you can write with that new font or whatever so that's a little neat thing you can do so that's the basics of how to load fonts into Allegro and how to load your own personal fonts so you don't have the old boring font and remember there's no tutorial like this out on the internet. I've searched and searched and I finally figured out how to do it. So I hope you guys like this and I hope you look forward to my next tutorial. Bye.